hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Friday, August the 8th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, subscribe, up to 826 um, on YouTube, and going to go over 1,000 on my fan page real soon, so I'm very excited because the numbers for me just reflect the, the, br the width and breadth and expansive and height of the message that I do my best to be a clear channel for to allow through. So that is exciting um, because my manifestation lately and creation lately has been that I am ready. I am ready, I am willing, I am able, I am wanting, and I am allowing all that is possible through me, which again, the numbers, because we live in a human world, will become the benchmark, the guidance, the, um, the marker to where this is all headed, because that's kind of how we have to live. So there we go. But I also know on a spiritual place, every kind word, every high vibration, every message changes the world, even so tiny as it might feel or be. The butterfly flaps his wings. Or as I like to say, the butterfly farts and you smell it on the other side of the world. Yes, I said it. So, Tiffany's in here. So, there's a big girl. So today is 8-8-2014. So the energy of today is matching the energy of the month. So it's a pretty cool day. There's some things going on astrologically. I don't know nothing about. I don't know nothing about birth and astrology. Go see David Lawrence Palmer. Um, I usually try to post him, but just subscribe to him, people. So eight is strength card. Eight is just powerful, wonderful, beautiful energy. It's double fours. It's solid. It's feminine. It's strong. It's just. It's a beautiful wave coming at you. And the whole month is that. So the day is that. You add up all the numbers today, and it's 23, which boils down to 5. Whew, that's a combination in my book because 5 is shifting, changing, moving. It's like um, it's like fuel to a fire. It's and I don't like that. I don't know why I just did that because that that's being overused right now. Um, no offense, but the Amazeballs and OSSUM, Ah, you won't catch me saying those either. Um, <laughs> it's the energy of it. Because um, it's always about intention for me. So it's like I, it's like commercials. I hate commercials because I see the intention behind them. Usually commercials used to just be, hey, I'm going to advertise my product. Now it's, hey, I'm going to manipulate you into trying to buy my product even if you don't want it. That's a whole other story because that's what I don't do with this information. I thank you for subscribing, retweeting, posting. But you know what? Only le only post and subscribe if you feel led to do it because that's why I say build an equality community. I can go buy subscribers. I can go buy all that stuff. But I'm getting way off the message. So let me refocus. So anyway, five energy, faith card. So it's a pretty important day, and again, there's some stuff happening astrologically. Go look that up. I've studied astrology, but it doesn't stick. It didn't feel like that was the path I was supposed to go down right now. Plus, when you have someone like David Lawrence Palmer doing it so well, um, the man just taped for ETV last night, so he is going to... Um, so, the Norman card for today. Let me pull it before it gets too late. Cloud or Cloud. Hold that as a, as a mistake. This is the mountain card. This is 21. It's number three. It's also eight of clubs. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. So this is about mountains. This can often, often be about immovable objects, very solid, very stable, but it also can be about a mountain, the challenge to get up and over. Use your strength to get up and over this. The faith card can be that solid belief system, and sometimes you need to get over it. And I love this card because it always reminds me, if you look at the card, there's so many ways to the top of that mountain. And the top of the mountain for me is like going back to source. And we have an experience going up that mountain. Some of y'all are taking the chairlift. More power to you. Why not? You know what? Some of y'all are taking a hot air balloon ride. Some of y'all are scaling, you know, sheer walls up that mountain. Look at her back there. She just had to get in. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, you want to say hello to everybody? Okay. <laughs> so tarot card to go along with the energy today and justice card love it so this is bringing everything back into balance so use your strength 
the faith, the belief system, this mountain to get up over to balance things out. Um, and it will feel very good. Justice Card can also be about legal things coming up too. But for me, oftentimes it's more about bringing things back into balance, which is what legal does. Law says, here's how it is. Boom, bring it back into balance. Back into balance. So let me move on into what we're calling like development uh, messages and things like that. And this is a very simple one that Spirit gave me. Um, and it's kind of a biblical thing. And it's always been something that I try to really work with. And that is let your yes be a yes and your no be a no. And you don't need to elaborate. You don't owe anyone an excuse. And sometimes when you continue saying the same thing over and over and over, you're trying to convince not only the other person, but yourself. Um, I listen to myself back on TV shows and Jamie, um, TV shows, radio shows, great slip, I'm going there. Um, uh, listen back to myself on radio shows, and um, which I love doing. So if, if you want me on your radio show, email me, intuitivemitchell at gmail.com. Um, but I listen to myself and... A lot of times I will say, yes, I, I, you know, you're about to move into a time of da, da, da. And then I'll say it again and again and again. It's like, say it once, let it be. So I really work on delivering the message, short, sweet um, bullet points, because I feel like we don't need elaborate stories nowadays and saying the same thing over and over and over five different ways to get the point across. Um, but that's also a type of personality. And I feel like a new generation that I'm supposed to be reaching. So all that being said, Short and sweet. Let your yes be a yes, your no be a no. Someone asks you to, hey, let's go out Friday night. No, I'm okay. And if they say, well, why not? I said, I just, no, I'm okay. No, if they get upset, offended, that's their problem. You don't need to convince them. You don't need to report out to them. Um, work, maybe a little different story, but usually people, especially in the corporate world, they really don't need a whole lot of explanation. Can you get this project done by Friday? Yes, I can. Can you not? No, I cannot. <laughs> um, let your yes be a yes, your no be a no, and I'm done with the message. Have an amazing day, intuitivemessenger.org. If you have questions um, and you, have, you want to know about development or something's going on in your life that is kind of metaphysical that you think I might be able to answer or allow spirit to answer, not a reading, although you never know, um, you can email me on my Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash intuitive mitchell or you can email me at intuitive mitchell at gmail.com so have an amazing day talk to you guys tomorrow morning have a good one bye did i mention have a good day i think i said that have a good day you still watching you still watching you're afraid to turn it off because you just think I might say something else. Can you hear me? Okay, bye.